you know, I've mentioned, okay, bitched about the wind quite a bit. But what I haven't said is that in the mornings, it is beautiful here. I am sitting in the sun at 7 a.m. And it is calm. And, I mean, not right this minute. It's not 7 a.m., but every morning. And um, it's gorgeous. The wind doesn't start till 11, 12, 1, 2, something like that. It, you know, it's different every day. But boy, are the mornings nice out here. We just sit and drink our coffee and watch the world go by and work. I don't mean a jobby poo. <laughs> just work around the camp. You know, laundry, building buildings, things like that. It's 1030 and I've just been looking at my view all morning. I'm going to uh, wash my hair and find shade. It's that time of day where um, with the intense direct sunlight, it's really warm. The breeze does help, but um, I'm really gross right now. So a lot of people suggested, why don't you just go in the clam to get shade? Yes, it is shady in there, but it's also at least 10 degrees warmer in there. They hold in the heat. Um, so, unfortunately, the clam isn't an option for uh, getting out of the sun. It's just too muggy and hot in there. It's really hard just to even cook. Do you hear that? You know what that is? That's the darn cicadas. Man, I hope they don't come here like they were at that other camp last year. They are so loud. Ugh. Oh well, that's nature. Well, happy Father's Day to all you dads. By the time you see this, it'll already be over. But we are sitting here at camp with um, a lot of wind. Shocking, I know. And uh, we spent the day just out running around and we went to our little local, what would we call that? A local convenience store, convenience slash, store slash restaurant slash bar. And um, had our two allotted drinks and um, came back. And and then here we sit. We did get one of our new uh, favorite cocktail. And it's a Topo Chico hard seltzer spiked sparkling water. And it uh, has two grams of carbs, which is keto friendly. Not carnivore friendly, but you know. <laughs> We are what we are. And um, we've been working on Ron's project. That's all I'll say for now. It will come. And um, it's warm, but really windy. And <laughs> one of the people in the comments section said, well, first of all, somebody said, why don't you get property next to Kevin and Eric? Well, first of all, Kevin and Eric don't live near each other. They're five miles apart. And I'm a mile from one of them. And, and somebody told me I was gross and should have that I covered up the um, you know the booby area with stickers but I didn't cover up the vagina area okay I'm pretty sure my vagina was not in the video I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure my vagina wasn't showing. Most of you appreciated my previous video for what it was meant to be, which was humor. You know, 
you didn't see any bits my bits were all covered so calm down calm down and another lady said shame on you for cutting down trees shame on you and I asked is your yard natural or do you maintain it you know do you have grass do you have flowers and she responded my yard is desert uh rocks, rocks with cactus well good for you good for you what was there before you put in the yard and the cactus because i guarantee there was natural nature, that was the word she said. How dare me mess with nature. You guys are so funny. 99% of you I love. The other 1% I just laugh at. And I really appreciate you all watching and um, giving me a little entertainment while I'm doing so. Thank you everybody and we will see you next time.